Okay guys, so I'm going to be doing a review for an eyeliner. Now I used the Maybelline, I forgot which one it is, something, something, I ain't saying go get it because, um, but that's the only one I use. I bought this one and this one is from Flower Beauty. I haven't tried a lot of Flower Beauty products, but I know it's owned by Drew Barrymore and I remember her on CoverGirl. So I thought the line would, it looks nice, it looks well presented. Um, you always can find the majority of everything you need. The only thing you can't find is a few eye products here and there. Um, but other than that, you can find it. This one is, is black. The only thing, and I'm going to go, go ahead and start off with a gripe before I even get to like what's good about it. Um, if you want to know what I'm wearing and the makeup, I will put a link to the um, Get Ready With Me video. And yeah, so... I will put a link down to that because the other video is going up first. And then there's a lot of views, videos going up today. I have a lot of videos uploading. I'm going to start uploading right now. I mean, I get finished with this uh, review. So the packaging, the lettering is already disappearing. And I only had this for like two weeks. And mind you, I, I leave it in my little stand thing with all the other like mascaras brushes and all that and already the lettering is going that's the only thing i don't like but i do know it's in black like the black is black or something this was like the price was like 6.97 or something like that or 6.98 so this is um like the, the felt tip pin to it as you see it's already dirty Oof, and i just had two weeks something like that so i'm going ahead and go ahead and show you the color it's very black it's very black it looks like uh, one of those sharpie markers that you have when you're using in school that's what it looks like to me and the one thing I have noticed because I watch Miss Fix Miss Fitz video Miss Fitz video Michelle something that's her name and I watched her video when she did a review on this and I went to pick it up as well and try it out and see how it would work I was very uh, intrigued about it the one thing about this uh eyeliner pencil is i'm trying to make sure i remember everything i need to write notes is that you need to leave it upside down i left it right side up and when i got to it it was like dry i don't know why this felt tip pen dries out like this as like quick as it does but it's not that it dries out it's just that the liquid in it can't get down to the pen and I think that's why I like it be like nasty stuff in it I don't know if you guys can see that but I think that's why it has that black stuff around it is because of the fact that a little bit does look out not like a lot but enough to keep the pen moist and wet um so I have to keep, leave it upside down so that the pen will not dry out I have noticed that that is very true and that was like the only disappointment because I have I tried a Maybelline one and I actually have black radiance version they have an eyeliner pencil but it's waterproof and I wore that one yesterday and I took a shower and everything and forgot to take it off last night and it was like some of the black radiance was still on that's not I have this is you know it's outside of the video but um, I have tried a few other ones and the other pens don't do that. I think it's because of the packaging and the fact that it's too big. And if it was like a shorter pen, like it wouldn't be a problem for all of the, the eyeliner, the product in it basically to get down to the tip. That's kind of it. That's the only like really bad thing about it. I like it. I like the fact that the felt tip is really small, really precise. You can get to the corner of your eye without Dotting some in your eye, which I missed and did it in the Get Ready With Me today. And whatnot. And then it's still black. The only thing that I would say that if you have somewhat semi-oily lids or you apply um, eyeshadow primer. Because I always apply eyeshadow primer before I put eyeliner on to make it stick to something. Stick to my eyelids and not like disappear over time. Is that make sure that it dries the... Um, eyeshadow base dries also if you use a jumbo pencil or something make sure it dries a little bit before you put the eyeliner on because what it does it gets slippery and it starts to move and like you do your wing eye 
and you put your hand, miss and put your hand too close, you will miss and wipe some away. Um, but it won't stain your face or anything. You wipe it away and keep going. But that's the only thing about this pen I would recommend that you do do is make sure that your eyeshadow base and your eyeshadow pencil, you know, jumbo pencil, something like this, is somewhat has dried a little bit before you attempt to apply this eyeliner. Um, other than that, that's it. I will be repurchasing this one again. I actually like this one a lot. Um, I, I really do like this one and I think it is very, very much so beneficial. If you want to try this out, make sure to leave it upside down. Um, that's basically it. It's, it's another color. It's a brown color that it comes in. I think that's the only other color it comes in. Um, you can find this at, your wall, at Walmart. Um, you, it's always in stock as far as I am concerned. It's, a few products that's not, but this is the one product that's always in stock when I go in Walmart. So that's it, you guys, for my video. I'll see you guys next video. Bye.